How's it going? Good. Doing good? Yeah. No All complaints. Right. YouTube star? What are you talking about? Huh? I just read on your car where is that your car I'm assuming? Well yeah. yeah the Daily does, Roamer? Yeah, how does it look? Pretty good. I just hadn't seen you make YouTube videos? Yeah, I drive around and record just for fun. Nice. I could check it out. Yeah, yeah, you, you can. It's a small channel. Is it? I'm in <laughs> where am I in right now? Uh heading to Manitou Springs. So Manitou Springs. I'm not okay. physically, but that's where the channel's at. I just let things fall behind okay. and then schedule them ahead of time, a few months and, you know, whatever. Yeah. Not bad, it's yeah. like B-roll, you know. Yeah, just keep playing. I just, going I just, yeah, in case like, like when I got to Texas, it's like, uh, I almost got hit twice by truckers. Uh, yeah. The truckers and, and, out here are crazy. Yeah. The whole yeah. traffic out here. Yeah. In the northwest part is, it's just planes. Maybe they get bored, but. <laughs> they did some two times. They did some really dumb things yeah. on camera. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I use a GoPro and good it, quality off GoPros. Yeah, you get that. I think it's like one forty. Almost, it's almost. Do, it's do almost you know like what? Do you know what the range? Yeah, no, I don't think it's, it's quite almost. It's not quite, but it's it's, it's like one hundred and twenty, one hundred forty. You know what your range is for your movie? Mine's about. I think we're at about it, it probably 120 years. Here, almost, it's yeah, not. It's probably like going to be over 100. Yeah. And because yeah, that's kind of narrow. Yeah. But the, you know, you got to get that curve to the, the little angles. All yeah. That good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's yeah. I got that on the the GoPro. Those those two incidents. It's like it's so strange. And you patrol the roads. Yes, sir. It, it's like there was like three three trucks, and then one behind him. He was just he was trying to get around them. Trying to get in front of these three trucks or something. Pass all of them at once. Yeah, all of them oh, at once. Impatient. Oh, yeah, <laughs> a, tr a truck driver though. And then another guy. He just I was going 55, mm -hmm. and he just he pulls onto the road. It's just two lanes, and I was in the left lane, and you know he pulled onto the road, so I had to move into the grass. Yeah, just because he made that a big wide mm -hmm. turn. Wide turn. It's just. Uh, well, luckily, you were paying attention. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm pretty. I usually drive slow because I'm I'm a traveler, so I drive more cautiously. I'm never taking all the scenes and everything. Taking in the scenes, all the yeah, all the oil wells here. It starts out when I got to Texas, it's like cattle country, mm -hmm. cotton country, and now oil country. Yeah, out here, it's, out west, it's pretty much all oil, and then uh, now everything's going either solar, yeah, the here, solar or wind turbines. Wind turbines, yeah. Up. Yeah, I've, I haven't really, I haven't really seen wind turbines in oil we, country. We got some I, south. Uh, south. We're building quite a bit of wind turbines down there in the next. Uh, okay. McKamey. McKamey. The next town. I kind of want to. Yeah, I kind of want to go there. That the fort. There's a fort Stockton. Yeah, that, fort Stockton's back this way. I kind of want to check that out because um, uh, that's that's a historical. Mm -hmm. I'm checking out historical sites yeah. too, and that's supposed to be like uh, some. Mm -hmm. Not downtown, yeah, there's yeah, it's all there's, sorts of. I think they still got uh, all sorts of stuff set up down Yeah, there live, a live museum. So that's what what I read. I was reading up on it a little bit. Yeah, and it's pretty neat. I mean, yeah, it's easy to get there. All you gotta do is just uh, next road over. Yeah, Sixth Street. You just take that all yeah. the way down. Yep, and then you'll run yeah, straight I, into Fort Stock. Oh, you gotta take another turn once you get to a four-way, yep, but yep. then you'll hit Fort Stockton. So yep, yeah, I got a, got a GPS. Uh, from here, I'd say it's probably forty-five yeah. to an hour. Yeah. Uh, from here. Have so. you been there? Just um, that's where we go. There's the Walmart there. It's yep. bigger, so there's Walmart. There's a little oh. bit more places to eat. And out here, all we got is just the Dollar General and then the Porters. So if you need anything more than that, yeah, uh, you got to go to yeah. Stockton or uh, it's a Odessa. supply supply yeah, district. Different hardware stores and different yeah. stuff over there. For for a town here, I'm surprised to see some franchises along yeah. along the road, but it's it's busy enough. Oh yeah, it's, it's, like I said, it's the main thoroughfare to get people from like McKamey up to Odessa, which is the next. Okay, town. yeah, there's there's some towns that totally reject franchises, mm -hmm. you know, just small mom and pop type yep. businesses, but this one's accepting of. Yeah, there's a few that. So it's kind of neat. Through, so. It's just the leadership how they how they enter how they uh, decide. And stuff so and yeah you're you're patrolling around the, the area patrolling do some walkthroughs they're all just 
little places say hi to everybody and yeah oh do you do you, would you call that community policing do you, yeah do you do you around. like Just, we'll go through the schools we'll talk to everybody make sure everything's going good too oh we'll, the schools yeah check, you, we check out the schools we check out we'll go hit up the pharmacy over there and do you, do you believe community policing is effective I think so. Okay. It shows a lot of people do not just the horrible bad guys that we're actually yeah. people too. Yeah. Yeah. I just I read this Julie Rudy, uh, Rudy Giuliani's uh, biography and he said like it's not effective. He and, has different views on a lot well, of things. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm wondering. Yeah, he does. It's just well, he's going by the Comstat. You ever hear of Comstat? They use statistics for for the New York area and and and. Uh, compiled it for for crime activity and they, i don't know he, they came to the conclusion that community policing really it wasn't as as useful um they, they found that responding to the crimes respond like the, the hot spots i think different places it's, have different it yeah. works differently new york's a huge place yeah that's it's kind of hard to be yeah i've visited new york and there's nobody friendly down there you yeah know, like period you know you come to these small towns like this everybody's friendly so yeah it's, well you know it works out good there's yeah fewer so. fewer people to talk to so you, mm -hmm. you have ex more extended conversations whereas yeah. you got more people to talk to it's it's more <laughs> just busy going yeah place to place. bing 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 yeah that's yeah it's, it is a difference yes sir so yeah hmm well yeah you need anything while I'm no I, I'm any good. questions anything maybe i can nope. try to answer no nope. no I, I just lovely see. crane <laughs> what i said about lovely crane lovely here. Oh, uh, like it so far. Thank I love I love the weather, and I just I got the impression that like the the uh, the Gulf of Mexico might be reaching this area or something. But maybe it was the rain. Yeah, it was it's just, supposed to rain today. I think uh, last I checked, there was a sixty percent chance. Yeah. Uh, All right. I don't know if it, hopefully, it picked up wind wise. Is this, this I was I was on I've been on the California coast, and it feels like coastal weather right yeah. now. And it may be just because of the rain, because we're yeah. not. It was really starting to cool off, so it gets. Yeah. We're not going to be pretty much having our hundred degree weather yeah. anymore. So. Yeah, and I, I, I won't, I won't be here for that. That's for you're sure. You're missing the good stuff. Yeah, I'm it gets sure. Up to 115. That's, that's the good, the good weather. Yeah, I'm, I'm really sure. That's. Uh, <laughs> you guys, you guys put up with a lot. That's that's yeah. this your winter time. You know, you have to stay. This in. is our winter right now. It's cold. Well, I mean, oh, it's cold. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I mean, like, like somebody said, it's like opposite. Like, stay. You have to stay indoors for the summertime. Oh yeah. In like Arizona. Okay. You go outside too long, you'll get heat exhaustion. And yeah, that, and that, that's stuff. like that's like winter time. Like up north, you have to stay indoors for the mm -hmm. winter time. It's like opposite. So, yeah. Not like not like Austria. Not it's it's uh it's weird all the time yeah I've, I've been in wisconsin that's kind of where i grew up mm -hmm. so uh winter times yeah it's you know negative 30 and Jeez, it hurts crazy. your face it's just the, way too cold when it gets down to the 30s that's cold, that's yeah, cold that's, for me i don't like that yeah that's that's <laughs> that's different yeah it's uh you guys you guys did you guys kind of deal with some extremes here still if you don't like the weather, they say just wait a little bit and it'll change up. So yeah, that's what that's what the Midwest. That's a Midwest lifestyle. Mm -hmm. How how it is, yeah. and I have to say, in, in Texas, I, I've never seen a, uh, any any particular uh, any significant spots of sand. There's there's doesn't seem to be any desert in Texas. No, we have uh, uh, from what Monahans, I, which it's a little further away. It's the they're known for the Monahan sand dunes. Monahan, okay, mm -hmm. is that west of here or something? It's Northwest. Okay. Um, huh. I miss. There's sand dunes. Okay. Yeah, sand dunes. Okay. Like all white. Yeah. So white but, sand dunes. There's um, there's got a state park. It, uh, okay. Oregon's sand dune state park. I think yeah. I mean, Oregon's covered in grass, and there there's actually an area that's all covered in sand. Hmm. So it's really strange how that develops. Out there, out there. If so you're the, well, I don't know. Now you won't see any. We have on the west side of Crane here. We have some sand dunes. You do uh, see some, oh! But they're kind of overgrown with grass and stuff. Yeah, that's uh, grassland. Weeds, you know. So yeah, it's, it's really but, not. But the Monahan sand dunes, that's just that's pure just sand out there. Yeah, that's so. that's maybe maybe an anomaly, or that's just like like something that not really having to do with the weather, Could or, be, or yeah, something. I, I've been through New Mexico. I've been through Arizona. I mean, that's significant oh, yeah. spots of sand. But I've been to Texas. It's all grassland. It's, yeah, this is the white sand though. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty. It's, out there, you have that reddish brown kind of sand. It's red, yep, sand. That, that, yep. And out here in Monahans and out west of Crane, uh, west Crane County, it's the white sand. The white sand, so, okay. 
Yeah, that's that's. It looks pretty neat. Too. That might be it's some kind of different. geological event, because yeah, Oregon has something like that too. It's so strange. It's just on the coast. You just mm -hmm. you see this big, huge area of sand, hmm. sand dunes, and and then it's back to vegetation. It's like right on the edge. There's vegetation. Weird little spot. That's it's a yeah. Nature for you. Yeah. Well, it's, <laughs> yeah. It's like this is the Permian Basin. There's. Mm -hmm. Some kind of geological there's, weird. Yeah, there's no uh, telling what's all underground. What yeah. Causes that, so. Have you ever had to get called to oil any oil wells? Yeah, there? we go sometimes. It, just different things happen, so we'll have to go to the oil wells. Uh, injuries. A fight. Uh, <laughs> not yeah. really fight. Yeah. I don't I, know. It's. It's. I guess they kind of work together and live together, so it's. They get along pretty well because they all have the yeah. same goal of making the money out there. So we usually don't get fights. We get the injury, where it, someone careless and they get hurt and it's all heavy equipment out there so. okay a drop not not so much an explosion no no, no nothing yeah. like that it's just you know like they'll their tools you know their wrenches are about this big moving stuff so those things are hundreds of pounds so you know somebody get hit yeah with those or something like that yeah but it's nothing as far as explosions or it's 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 kind of like dangerous that. it's yeah but nothing so, like being a lumberjack is dangerous especially when they got to work on the hills they got these winches with the long uh the long uh, steel steel ropes and they they get new, loose and snap or something and, or swing around and I saw that uh, what were they doing on the Discovery Channel it, I think it was they had a show where they were clearing out logging like logging and they had the they stick it up top and they run those cables down the and cables yeah suck them back up the and it's dangerous and everything. that's very dangerous yeah. it's, trees are heavy just the, the tension on those wires yeah, too yeah and the way they could swing and mm -hmm. stuff it's it's uh but uh in the oil well, you know, it's yeah, you're not yeah, gonna see the same too because you got all that pressure coming up from the ground and everything. So. Yeah, so yeah, you're you're uh, and you've been how, how long have you worked uh, in the oil area? It's uh, I came out, I've been out here in this area going on two months now, two oh, pretty new, okay, <laughs> to this area, yeah, okay. I had family and stuff out here, so it, I mean, I've been in the area, but I moved off, was, it's kind of central texas and yeah it's, it's good back, to, so. it's good to keep moving around to keep things fresh I, yeah i would think yeah, that's that's kind of why i travel a lot it's just yeah. i get kind of bored of an area and i don't want to get in trouble with doing something dumb you know, getting lazy or bored yeah just move to somewhere else and it's it's a refresh yeah every time reset button see something new yeah that's yep so yeah and you're in the oil industry or now and i'm sure that the um, how things how things are operated are a little bit different. Um, but yeah, I just I don't know. I I can't think. I can't picture how it look different it would be. You ever been in a part of any like search warrants? Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. You have out here, um, but my previous careers and stuff over there in law enforcement. And done okay. All that yeah, I, was, I went to the courthouse uh, and yesterday and asked. Uh, about search warrants, searching like things, because they, they keep they keep like I've been to other courthouses where they keep a binder, you can and you can look at search warrants uh, for like some some cops will look at the a cell phone tower ping, mm -hmm. and and they would request a search warrant for that. The judge would approve it, or or uh, search the cell phone of a, of a criminal, somebody who's who they just they want to get evidence against for a, tr a future trial, I think, and. The clerk of courts usually holds a binder or something for this, for the most recent ones. But these guys... What? You just request them and then that's what happens after that. I have no yeah. clue where they go. <laughs> it's, I, think it's supposed, I think it's supposed to be public record. And, and, and some courthouses in the clerk of court's office will hold a binder full of, of these search warrants. Mm -hmm. And I find it fascinating. Just reading through different Yeah, they, they, they give some a lot of interesting information. The cops give their background and then their reason why mm -hmm. and then they talk about the crime and and yeah. what they're searching the things they're searching is interesting and I, I was trying to look to see if there's a pattern um, among counties how often do they search cell phones because uh, that was a surprise you know it depends that, on the county and the crimes and yeah stuff like that. It's, it seems like it might be a growing um, uh, request yeah, because now everything's done. Cell phones, phones, cell phones are pretty new still, and you know, 20 years ago, you wouldn't have, yeah, you, you wouldn't, wouldn't have thought of that. that you know? Yeah, you wouldn't have thought of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's ever since Apple came out with their, their devices, and it's interesting to me. But you know, I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I'm kind of hitting courthouses every so often. It's, it's a lazy, mm -hmm. 
a research program um, and so this one doesn't have it so I can't really look it out but it's something that's kind of a uh, interest to me yeah. you know just mentioning it to you <laughs> it's yeah, no, so yeah everyone right search one different you know, put different stuff in there so. you, you ever you ever hear of of a uh, uh, the, the, it's a different brand of camera. Axon? You ever hear of Axon? Axon. I think Taser makes those. T okay, I think Taser, I might have heard that. Yeah. Axon. Is you, type of did you did you compare and contrast Taser to to movie or to Axon to movie when you were just? I, I didn't. You just took what? Had, so okay. Go you ever you ever see those ones with are like a wristwatch? It's a San, Samsung rich wristwatch you can use for. It's not a camera. It's it's actually for like a radio. You ever? That's, you, you ever hear, you ever see that, that, uh, well, Apple, it's like the Apple watch, I guess. It's, yeah, it's like an Apple watch mm -hmm. or something. You ever, they ever talk about that using those in the future or anything? You guys are pretty, I hadn't heard okay. I so. yeah, I just, I but saw it probably could be, you never yeah. know, but they do different apps for everything nowadays. So yeah. And it's interesting. Knows. It's interesting. Yeah. I saw a cop recently with, with one of those, he was talking into it, talking mm -hmm. into his wristwatch. Yeah. And it's, and a, just like a phone now and yeah and like a radio too he was i think he was like communicating like a radio so that'd make it easier and it was interesting to me because it's like these can monitor your heart rates yeah and it's like if if what if dispatch could monitor your heart rates you know they would know if you're like sleeping maybe or getting or, into something or if you're yeah you had some or you died <laughs> you know you flatline and it'd be like i know apple watch they even can detect now if you fall like for elderly, oh like the geo the G G I don't sensor, know what it does, yeah. but it, it hits and it can detect if you had a fall or an accident. Yeah, and then it could even alert medical. Yeah, that's EMS or whatever. Yeah, those um, those camera dash the dash cams yeah. have that the G sensor. Yeah, they yeah, activate. It's people, so like OnStar now, but it's a yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Technology. But it, yeah, to do that sensing, it, it can change policing in, in a way. Yeah. If Maybe they, you should invent something. No, I can't. <laughs> what? No, I'm. I'm just. Uh, I'm just interested. Yeah, I'm just patent it, and then you can make some money off of it. It would. Yeah, that's that's a, <laughs> everything. Everything has been pretty much patented the way it sounds. Oh, yeah, it's, like like Apple. Apple waited that 25 year period with the touch screens. Mm -hmm. It was invented in the 70s. Yeah. Apple waited until that expired, then jumped, it, and, and then commercialized it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think cause it's just you get an idea and it's, you patent it, it at the time, but then thirty years from now, yeah. it blows up and the, well, you got the patent. Yeah, it, you know? the money's in the sales mm -hmm. more. I think more so than the actual yeah. invention. It's mm -hmm. you know. So all right. All right. Well, I'm gonna get out of here. Okay. So. All right. Uh, nice Good talking. Patent. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. Good luck to your in your future endeavors. Be safe out there on the road. Yeah. You too. <laughs>